Hey sports fans, ASMR Sports here. Today I'm chewing on some gum, as usual. And um, I decided to bust open this guy. Um, which I'd mentioned in another video, but um, after that video I realized that this product, this is a 1996 basketball rookies box, which is made by, oh, it says on here somewhere, um, the scoreboard. Um, I realized that, uh, in addition to Iverson, Kobe Bryant is in this product, at least I think. I was looking at, like, some checklists online. So, that's pretty cool, but, you know, the cards in here, of course, are worthless for the most part. But, still would be cool to pull a Kobe rookie out of this thing. And then the main attraction, um, is this guy, two vintage rookies. It's funny, they have Scottie Pippen on there, I was just looking up. Scottie Pippen cards today, he, he is, uh, um, well, his cards are on, on, on the rise, in addition to Michael Jordan's, because Scottie Pippen, you know, is a very important uh, figure in that, in the sort of Michael Jordan story and the championships that he won with the Bulls, so people are buying up his cards now, in addition to Michael Jordan, as everybody gets ready for, uh, for the uh, documentary on Michael Jordan. Coming up, The Last Dance. I believe that's on April 19th, the first episode. So I believe there's 36 packs in here, yeah. So it's a good old-fashioned, you know, 36-packer. Back from the days when everything had 36 packs. These days, very rarely do products have 36 packs anymore. Like it's 24 or something most of the time. All right, so let's just, uh, well, let's take a look at the package here. Look for randomly inserted vintage rookie cards, autographed vintage cards, college jerseys, rookie number one die cuts. Maybe if we got one of those of like one of the stars, that would be worth uh, something. All right, let's check it out. Oh, cool, we got a checklist right at the bat. That's what I want, that's what I wanted to see. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh yeah, oh man, these are way bricked. Well, this just got boring in a hurry, guys. I'm probably not gonna open a lot of these. Um, but we'll try a few packs. Kinda makes me curious, though, what is gonna happen to the uh, vintage cards that are in here. Now, they would not get, like, sticky like these glossy cards get, but... They may, may be impacted negatively. Um, so that's not the whole checklist. It starts at 51. I'm trying to see who I recognize. Derek Fisher, I think. Uh, wow. Not a lot of guys. But I did not follow. There's Allen Iverson, number 81. Who's on the... Marcus Camby's on the front of this thing. Sharif Abdurrahim. Shaquille O'Neal. And then Hakeem Olajuwon, who obviously was on a rookie in 96, but... They seem to have some... Yeah, some veterans here. Jason Kidd, Scotty Pippen. Dame Stoudemire, Lons of Morning. And so on. And then here's a Steve Nash, clearly, definitely not a rookie. Or, or was he a rookie? It's a Santa Clara. 96. I don't... Huh. Interesting. That's interesting. I, I didn't... Uh, I'm pretty sure... I don't know. Is he in this draft class? With Kobe and uh, Iverson? I don't think so. But those years. 
was, yeah, 95, 96 Santa Clara. So I guess he was. Huh. Well, this, unfortunately, it's got freaking damage because the things are stuck. Um. Yeah, it's a real shame. But this is very common with any kind of glossy cards from the 90s um, in any sport, really. You know, um, 93... Upper Deck SP in baseball is notorious. That's the that's the set that has the most valuable Derek Jeter rookie card. Um, so you know you kind of take your life in your own hands when you buy something like this. Now this is of course so I spent like whatever twenty dollars on this box. Uh, that wasn't too bad actually. Sheet Wallace, some kind of subset here, maybe. Well, there's one of the big hits in here, Stefan Marbury, pull him out for just, and there's Shaquille O'Neal. Somebody had like a, 
Ah, uh, there's a nice Scotty Pippen. Um, somebody had uh, online uh, on Facebook. Somebody had a case of like 93, 94 Fleer Ultra, which is a really good product. It has a really um, sought after Jordan um, uh, insert. And uh, somebody was selling a case of this stuff. You know, and that probably would go, it's a 20 box case, so it'd probably go for 4000 or so. But could be a very good investment, you know. If, the Jordan stuff holds its value and then appreciates from there. Um, but I'm just thinking, like, okay, so you buy that case, maybe you open it up someday, sell the boxes. There is a Kobe Bryant, nice, out of Lower Marion High School, Pennsylvania. So that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, you got the Telltale Rips, another Ray Allen. Stefan Marbury. I'm not even going to pull out the doubles at this point. They're going to be all ripped up like this.
are uh... <sighs> wow dang it, so it's funny so this is our vintage um, card and it's funny because it's like two years older <laughs> than the stuff we're opening um, and it's actually a pretty good card um, this is a real nice Jason Kidd rookie card but dang damn it it's a it's a glossy card so it, it had some some peelage there um, otherwise this thing is really in good condition it's a little off left to right centering corners are good and surface is good other than the stuff that just happened to it and ripped this off so that's a dang bummer right there I don't know if that's got any value but you know if it would have been perfect uh, probably could have sent it in for a PSA 9 not sure if his stuff has a lot of value, but you know, he was definitely a superstar. Played for a good number of years, too. I believe he had a very lengthy career, if I'm not mistaken. So, definitely uh, somebody who's rookie and left, you know, you're not gonna argue with. I was hoping for, though, at least something older, so it would at least be made out of, you know, just non glossy um, cardboard. And therefore have the better, best chance of surviving. But that, that Jason Kidd is pretty cool. I've never seen that card before. I don't think 
my bending of the back is uh, very good. I think it hurts things more than doing a card at a time.